What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to add guest checkout to our application. In the last video, we forced our users to log in before checking out, which is a good thing. But I also think it's a good idea to have the option to allow them to check out as a guest without logging in. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go in, we add it to cart and proceed to checkout. If we're not logged in, it's going to bring up this login form. So let's put a button in here that says check out as guest. Again, we're not going to worry about the style for now. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, before I do that, let's go into our routes file and let's make a new route for guest checkout. So right here, I'm going to name it guest checkout. And we'll name it guest checkout.index. And this time there's going to be no middleware on it because we want anyone who's not logged in to be able to access this route. So save that. Let's go into our login.blade.php and let's just add that button anywhere here. Let's just put it under here. Let's name it. Um, guest what is it called it was called guest checkout dot index guest checkout dot index and we'll name it checkout as guest as a guest okay okay there it is And that doesn't work because if you remember, we added that read only field that populates the email text box and that's getting it from the logged in user. But in this case, there's no logged in user. So let's go ahead and do this. So back to checkout.blade.php right here. Let's just make a conditional. So if auth user, so if the users logged in, then we want this. But if not, then we want this. That's why I left it in as a comment. And that should fix this. Cool. Now for guest checkout, we want to make sure that the email that they enter doesn't already exist because if it exists, that means they already have an account. And if they have an account, we want them to log into our account. So if you take a look at checkout controller um, for the store method, you'll see that I have a form request here that does the validation. Let's go into that. So there's two cases here. We want, when they're logged in, we want it to be like this. And when they're not logged in, we want to add a validation rule that checks if that email already exists in the database. And Laravel makes that really easy. So let me just copy this. Let me just make a new variable. So we'll call it email validation. And let's just do a ternary expression here. So if the user's logged in, so if auth user, then we want this. But if they're not logged in, we want to check if that email already exists. in the database. So all we have to do is that, and then replace this with that new variable, email validation, and that should do it. Let's check that out. So if we try to fill this out with an existing user, so that user already exists, and let's just put gibberish in here. Okay, 
And so this should return back with an error. And it does. It says the email has already been taken. So I want to customize this error message. So to do that, let's go back into our checkout request. Let's make a new method here called messages, I believe. And no params. And all it does is return. So the custom error message we want is email unique, email.unique. And the message can go in here. You already have an account with this email address. Please log in to continue. Okay, see if that works. Oh, we gotta do that again. What happened there? Oh, sorry, I forgot my semicolon here. Let's try that again. So let's refresh this. Okay. I'd like to make this a link and let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this, but for now, I'm just going to hard code it in here since we're only doing it in one place. So just do a href equals, it's going to be slash login and end it here. And that should be do it back here, test that out again, let's enter this. And oh yeah, okay, so that's not going to show because we got to escape that here, right here. And that's okay because it's not user input, so we don't have to worry about that. And we have to enter this again. Okay, so there's a link there to log in. Cool. I'd also like to get rid of this menu up here once we're on the checkout page. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so in nav, Dot play dot PHP. As you can see, we already have that check for the normal checkout page. So let's just add another case here. So it's just going to be or guest checkout and same down here. And that should do it. Sorry, we have to wrap this whole thing in brackets. So there, there, and here, and here. That should do it. Cool. And one more case when we are on the guest checkout page, but we're actually logged in. We don't want that to happen. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go to our cart, proceed to checkout, and actually log in, okay, so this is the correct page, but there's still a chance that the user can type this in for some reason. And that works, but let's just make sure to redirect if they're on the guest checkout page and they're logged in. So let's go to the checkout controller. And right up here, let's just put it right here. Let's just do a check. So the check is going to be if the user is logged in. 
and request is guest checkout. Then we just return them, sorry, redirect them to the correct checkout page, which would be checkout.index. Okay, looks good. So in this case, it should redirect them to the checkout page. And it does, cool. And we have the correct read only field here. So let's go over this whole flow again. Let me log out. So add a product, add to cart, proceed to checkout. We can log in if we have an account, but if we want to check out as a guest, we can go ahead and do that. That works. Um, if this person tries to enter an existing account, then that shouldn't work. Oops. And there you go, it prompts you to log in. So there you have it guys, we've re-added the ability for guests to check out in our application. Please like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys, see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye!